If you were a famous composer whose melodies had become part of other people's lives, where would you find your inspiration? Eric Coates, the man who wrote the Knightsbridge March, Calling All Workers and many other well-known tunes, has had some of his best themes come to him almost ready-made while strolling through the London he knows and loves so well. Westminster, from his London suite, which you're hearing now, had its beginning one quiet afternoon while he was gazing from the embankment into the Thames below. The swirling water, the hum of traffic, the chimes of Big Ben, all added together in his mind, made this. When you get spurred of the moment inspirations like Eric Coates, you always carry a notebook to jot them down. Without it, those precious few notes might be lost forever and the world would be the loser. Let's take a walk now with Eric Coates to a quiet spot in the heart of London where the noise of traffic is hushed and the thoughts that come into a composer's head are thoughts of peace. The scene is St. James's Park, where the trees blot out the world of hustle and noise and you can imagine you're thousands of miles from a bus or a telephone. Once again in that mind, a picture in sight becomes a picture in sound. Only a few first notes have come yet, but down they go before they're forgotten. The rest of the melody takes a bit of thinking out. Ah, that's the rhythm. The melody is coming clear. If anyone tells you the Sleepy Lagoon was written under South Sea skies, you'll be able to answer that it all started a minute's walk from Piccadilly. And now we go into Eric Coates' home to see how rough notes are built up into a finished composition. At this desk, at which so many famous tunes have been written, the composer sets to work to give the world another melody to start us all humming and whistling. This music, written as fluently as you and I would write a letter, is the Knightsbridge March, Eric Coates' best-known work, the signature tune of In Town Tonight. <laughs> 